Hey man, how's it going? Uh, thanks so much for the support, obviously. Um, it means a ton. Uh, if I take any random pauses during the course of this video, uh, I'm actually recording this while I'm chatting with you on Discord at the same time. So if there's any like random pauses, it's because I'm, t I'm talking to you on Discord. Um, I was going to start in by going through ships, and I was going to say top 20 is good. Uh, having the Millennium Falcon with relics is fantastic under a home one. Uh, I was going to suggest, wait just a second, I was going to suggest going for Negotiator, and I just asked you in Discord, I said, how many Negotiator shards you have? You said, not many, I just got into a good guild two months ago, maybe like 30. I'm going to message you back. It's weird, I'm messaging you in real time and talking to future you. It's, a, it's kind of confusing. Um, <laughs> so you said you just got into a good guild, which is fantastic. Getting into a good guild as early as possible is always uh, a huge advantage. Um, but for where you are right now, I like the fleet you're running, except I would probably go, I would probably go home one. So watch, I'll filter by power. I would go home one. I would try to get it up if you can get it up in stars. Actually, how many stars is your executrix? Yeah, since you're, or your chimera. I would actually go home one with this roster. I would go houndstooth, millennium falcon, ETA. Bring in Ahsoka as the first reinforcement. Bring in probably Thai Silencer. And then either Slave 1 or Thai Advanced, depending on which one of these guys is a higher relic. Um, probably Thai Advanced because of his uh, buff to spell. My thinking behind this is simply um, with the assists coming from uh, Millennium Falcon. Or not the assists, but under Home 1, Millennium Falcon's basic. As I'm sure you know, I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir right now. Dispels buffs, and oftentimes if you go against a negotiator malevolence or something, you're going to get a lot of taunts. So if you can dispel the buffs, the debuffs with the middle ability of home ones, you can take off the breach from the opposing hound's tooth, and then Millennium Falcon basics their hound's tooth, dispels their taunt, allows you to go after the other guys. So simply just having that home one leadership allows the Millennium Falcon to have that dispel on the basic which basically ne negates any powerful Hound's Tooth. So since you have a relic to uh, Bosk and you're working on Hound's Tooth getting it up to seven stars, um, I'm sure you can appreciate how annoying that, that taunt is, especially if it's a double Zeta Bosk and it keeps that taunt, which is super annoying or is super fast. Um, I'm sure you can appreciate that getting rid of that Bosk uh, uh, taunt is worthwhile. I still have my Millennium Falcon at five stars, which is fantastic. Um, I use it on offense in GAC in Division 4, and it does well. Um, as you progress the Negotiator, you go Houndstooth, Ahsoka, ETA, or Houndstooth, ETA, Fives, and then bring in Plo Koon after that, and then Ahsoka. So I don't know if you have Plo Koon, but Plo Koon is a super easy farm. So as you progress to getting super close to getting that Negotiator, start working on Plo Koon. Um, you can basically just level 85 them, get them to like gear 8, and then all you need to do is bring in the ship if you upgrade its uh, its reinforcement bonus. It will dispel all debuffs. So if you go against like a negotiator, for example, it'll it'll just tons of debuffs, all the dazes and stuff. Or if you go against a, a malevolence, it'll have all the buzz droids. Now that Plo Koon ship doesn't need to be super strong, but if you bring it in, it will automatically just dispel all debuffs on your guys, which is super helpful. So some, some stuff to consider as you slowly progress towards that negotiator. Um, Anakin is a a uh, pretty easy farm, so I would start trying to get him up to seven stars. Um, I imagine I haven't looked at your roster yet. I just wanted to talk about ships really quickly. Um, do that Django farm to help you get that Hound's Tooth up to seven stars. I imagine you're currently working on that. And then uh, Ahsoka is an easy ship farm in the shipments. Sorry, you just sent me a bunch of messages. Let me read them. Um, oh, you're just talking about. <laughs> You're just talking about spending, getting those Relic 8 packs. <laughs> very relatable. All right, so let's hop into the roster. 2.3 million GP. Relic 7 Bosk, very interesting Relic 7. Um, he is fantastic. So since you have a bunch of characters, I'm actually going to split this. I'm just going to go through, see if I see anything crazy. Um, if this video ever makes it to YouTube, I mean, everyone knows <laughs> I love the Treya Zeta simply because it allows you to free up other teams against Geos, but I'm sure you know all about that. Um, Mando I'm finding surprisingly high use for, or not surprising, but high use for, so 
as you progress through the future, I think you said you're farming gas right now. Uh, you sent a message, something about gas. Let me see if I can find it. Um, yeah, you said you were going to go for gas, I think, and then uh, get him up to Relic 8 if you end up buying this packs. Uh, you said just now at AP Games, I don't know if you talk about mods, but I love some unbiased feedback on my mods. Yeah, uh, I'll talk about mods at the end of the video. Um, I get a lot of flack for my mods, but I mean, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, because of school, I don't really have time to sit down and just super mod my team out, but I will talk about mods for your characters at the end of the video, don't worry. Um, let me just message you back. Yeah, I just said I will, don't worry. All right, um, so let me just break this down team by team, see what you got going on. So you, oh, so you already have the full uh, Relic 5 Bounty Hunters, so I'm surprised that you actually didn't get the Hound's Tooth uh, in your initial Django farm. Now that it's double drops, it should be super easy. Um, just get that just get that Hound's Tooth with the 7 stars. He's a lot better at 7 stars. Dangar at your 12, which is kind of surprising. I like this Bounty Hunter team. Um, Dangar gives it some more defensive viability, especially at this, so it's a potent defensive team, but, I mean, you can run, like, if you get another bounty hunter up, like, let's say you had Cad Bane at gear 12, even though he's not the best bounty hunter, at this level, you can split this into a Bosca Boba two-man for max banners, and then Django, Dangar, Cad, super fast. Django probably deletes someone first turn, if not two people first turn, uh, get outs quickly, um, you could split that up into potentially two high banner teams or one strong defensive team. Clones, um, looking decent. I wouldn't put too many resources into them. Uh, I always was confused why people had random R2-D2 relics, but I guess it's uh, a Galactic Legend requirement. Or not, Gal I think it's Luke, Galactic uh, Jedi Master Luke. Not Jedi Master Luke, but... Uh, which are Jedi Knight Luke? I can't remember. There's so many Lukes in this point. It's like seven Lukes. The one that stuns everyone, not the Galactic Legends. The Relic 5 Thrawn, which is what I imagine you use, uh, is why you have that uh, Thrawn fleet leadership. Um, as I'm sure you know, Darth Vader solo. So you have either one good bounty hunter team, or potentially two, plus a Vader. Three high banner teams. Palp lead if you throw in Thrawn, and then... Uh, Basilisk on Fallen, which you don't have. So if you eventually get Basilisk on Fallen... Um, EP lead plus Thrawn plus Bachelor Sean Fallen is a three man. So let me just keep track for <laughs> GAC uh, recommendation. So let's just let's just keep it simple. Say one good bounty hunter team. Potential to split it up and be effective at this GP, but let's just say it's one team. One super strong bounty hunter team that can counter almost anything. A Darth Vader solo, an Emperor Palpatine, Grand Moff Tarkin, not Grand Moff Tarkin, Grand Admiral Thrawn plus eventually a Bachelor Sean team. So we're all undersized at this point, which is great banners. Uh, you were talking about low gray in here. Oh, okay, you're just working towards C3PO. Uh, you got your uh, first order team. This is a fantastic defensive team. Um, a strategy that I would do, I don't have my first order up, but if you bait out a Treya and a Padme in the front wall, because Padme destroys, like a, relic, like a gear 12 relic one Padme will destroy this team. But if you put it on the back wall and instead put your Geo's front wall with like maybe another assist team to try to bait out a Padme or a Treya. And if you can get that Padme out of there early, um, I'll look at the rest of your teams and I'll, I'll have like a game plan at the end of the video. I'm kind of just spitballing right now trying to basically try to remember everything you have. Sorry, you just sent me another message. Um, okay. Sorry, <laughs> I have to reply to your Discord messages while I'm recording the video, which is I find hilarious. But if you can bait out a Padme um, and then throw this team on the back wall, you're going to screw over a bunch of people. Um, it's also a great front wall team, but that just leaves them the opportunity to potentially Padme it, which gives them the opportunity to full clear you. Um, let's see, you got a fantastic Padme team. No cut, man. <laughs> I'm sitting here praising your roster breaking it down into GAC squads, talking about fleets, I'm going to talk about mods, and you don't have the level 6... I'm going to message you right now. I'm going to say... I'm going to say, dude, no level 69 cup? Let 
Ready for this? I'm going to I'm going to try to convince you to upgrade him to 69. I'm going to try to convince you to upgrade him to level 69 and then I'll go back in and he'll be there. All right, let's see if you fall for the bait. The 69th precinct. If this video makes it to YouTube and the 69th precinct uh gets a hold of you with not having a level 69 cup, there's going to be some some hell to pay, let me tell you. All right, you said hold on. Okay, this could be a good sign. I'll keep breaking it down and then I'll come back in a in a little bit. All right, so your Padme team is obviously fantastic. At this GP, I imagine, honestly, your your teams are so high relic that this GP, I imagine, you you don't get full cleared a lot. At this point, you're probably not facing a lot of like super high relic Darth Revan, so this is probably a fantastic front wall defensive team. So you could maybe even go Padme first order on front bottom wall, literally garbage in the back. Um, partition enough offensive undersized teams to get efficient full clear banners up against them. Throw everything else up top uh, and you should be good. G notions, yeah. So what I'd say is go first order. You see how the plan is evolving as I learn more and more teams. <laughs> um, bottom front, go first order plus Padme. Up top, oh, you just spent, you just sent me a message, 2.2 million credits just for UAP gains. All right. Hold that thought. Galactic Republic. Let me see if I back out. See if it refreshes. All right. If this video makes it to YouTube, you'll be set. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Ready for this? Let me find your ally code. All right. Let's do a little. I think I'm on Nikki's account right now. Yeah, I'm on Nikki's account right now. One eight eight two eight seven three eight eight. Boom. This could be big, man. This could be big. Hey, let's go. Good stuff, man. <laughs> all the other, all the other guys on the Discord are uh, cheering you on right now. I'm gonna say I'm doing the video live right now. I'm very happy. Hey, you're getting applause from all the other boys. Good stuff, man. I love. I I like how you said 2.2 million credits just for UAP gains. I'm like, yeah, good man, good man. All right, so let's go back. You had geos, right? So yeah. Um, so let's go bottom bottom front wall. You got first order plus Padme up top. You got geos plus something else. Let's see if you got any imps. All right. let's see if you have any of this stuff going on. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're looking great for offense. Okay. I'm going to mastermind the perfect unbeatable GAC strategy, which I imagine you already implement, but um, I'll give my take on it before I go into mods. Yes, good, Anakin, good. Uh, what I recommend to a lot of people is go Jedi Knight Revan lead Jolie Bindo two-man, and then Basil Sean lead Grandmaster Yoda two-man. Um uh, it's just two two mans. It's sixty three banners. Uh, often, more often than not, your opponents can't out efficient that. Even if they do well, even if they full clear one shot, uh, people don't think about being that efficient. And since they're relict, you can be that efficient. <laughs> so you could get. You're probably averaging what sixty two, sixty three banners a battle with this roster, which is pretty good. Um, all right, Phoenix. I hope you don't have a lot going on there. Good. Rebels. So that CLS team is obviously another three man, which will add to the combined offense. Um, I probably don't need to talk too much about that until I go into mods later in the video. Uh, later into the video, but uh, I mean, that's a pretty apparent three man. I'm kind of curious what you use your R2D2 for. Uh, let me know. Actually, I'm just going to ask you right now in Discord. I have an ex a extinct advantage of being able to talk to you while I do this. I'm going to say, what squad? I'm going to ask you, what squad do you usually use R2 in? While I wait for your response, I'm going to keep going down. Resistance, Rogue One Scoundrels. Let's see if you have Nest. Um, No Nest, right? Yeah. Separatists. All right, not going, not a lot going on here. Um, you don't even have Grievous. Well, wow, that's interesting. 
Oh, use them on Padme. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You said Padme. That's what I was going to... Okay. Yeah, I was going to say throw that R2-D2 on the Padme team just to uh, get some burns, get some stuns, get a little bit of that uh, uh, stealth. So not much going on in Separatist, which is totally fine. I already went through Sith. Okay, you have one Tuscan. You have one Tuscan. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, you're saying right now my CLS is super fast, so it works as a three man for now. Yeah. Sorry, I'm messaging you back on Discord right now, saying I'll recommend. I'm saying I'll just recommend some GAC teams uh, for good measure. All right. So let's back out entirely. Uh, all right, you're going to have to use your imagination here. Because, all right, let's say this area right here is your front top defensive team. This is bottom defensive, back defensive, and ships. This is your opponent's same, it's mirrored across this. So let's say here is your top. Put Geonosians plus uh, like literally anything else. Like Ewoks. I'll do offense first, actually. So you'll attack two teams here, two teams here, one team here, if I'm correct. I think you need five teams at the division you're in. Uh, you're division five, yeah. So you need five teams. So here, let's just say CLS three man, bounty hunter two or three man, probably two man, to be honest. So CLS will get you 62, the bounty hunter two man or three man. Let's just say it gets you, let's just say you do a three man. So 62 plus 62, you're already four banners ahead of perfect. Back here, you use one of your Jedi split teams and you get 63 banners. Then you use another Jedi split team up here, 63 banners. And then let's say you get Bass LaShawn Fallen unlocked. Um, yeah, let's just say you unlock Bass LaShawn Fallen. Then you go Emperor Palpatine Thrawn plus Bass LaShawn Fallen. You get 62. So you get 62, 62, 62, 62, 62. But realistically, it's 62, 62, 63, 63, 62. Then you run that home one team I recommended on offense, and you'll get... 66 banners probably so you're ahead you're plus what you're plus three plus five plus three plus ten plus twelve plus like 19 so you're plus 19 then perfect so you're 19 above perfect and then on defense you run first order padme geos and like ewoks or something then you put your chimera plus all of your dark side ships over here and literally anything back here I doubt your opponent is getting through your bottom wall. So they got to go up top. Let's say they burn Treya against Geos. They burn CLS against Ewoks. They get your ship. They've cleared your top, but you're 19 above perfect over here. Excuse me. You're 19 above perfect against them on offense, and they're going to drop at least two battles per team here unless they have, like, the perfect squad, um, high relics and all that stuff, which they never will. So they'll never full clear you. So you've prevented the full clear. You've gotten perfect banners. You're getting all the Zetas. You're winning every time. You're getting Kyber. You're top of your Kyber class because you're so unimaginably efficient with the with the requirement with the guys you have and the teams that I recommended. And I'm sure those are teams that you use. Don't get me wrong. Um, sorry, you just sent me another message. Uh, something about Google Play, I think. So you're so you're so efficient that you're going to be like top of division five Kyber, like top 20 in the world, which will be fantastic. I mean, it's going to look good on your stats. Um, I don't, how do you look at stats? I don't even remember. Yeah. I can't remember how you look at stats. Okay. Mods, mods, mods. Bosk, you want him to be a speedy little bugger. So Bosk speed is important in relation to, Boba Fett and Django Fett. The ideal speed is Bosk, Boba, 
Django. So Bosk throws up his taunt. Boba executes. Bosk calls in a full assist. Django uses his middle ability, which gives Bosk another turn. He uses his basic, and then like Dangar or whatever goes. But usually you undersize on offense. So at that point, you either have contract or you've killed at least one or two people. Um, so let's see. Bosk's speed is what? 283, which is solid. 283, 283, and 280. Okay, perfect. So Django and Boba are good. If you could bump up Bosk's speed by one, or conversely drop Boba's speed by one to make sure that, because right now they're tied, and I ties confuse me. Uh, I'm small brain. They made a recent update to it about a month ago. Because there's like percentage of a hundred percent, so if they're perfectly tied, I th I don't know if it's a dice roll. I would imagine the leader. Okay, so it's probably whoever has the most base speed. I would imagine that's plus one twelve. That's plus one sixteen. So I think Bosk would go first in this situation. But for safe measure, I would drop Boba down one speed or drop Bosk up a speed. Um, but other than speed, and he is very fast, uh, you probably want some tenacity, 93% tenacity, fantastic. Okay, so Bosk is looking solid. Boba and Django are pretty easy to mod, you just want speed and crit damage. Um, potency is, is fine. Um, so solid crit damage, he's very fast, so you don't need those plus 200s. If you can get those crit damage triangles, it'd be... Great crit damage here plus speed. I like this. So Django's looking very solid. Wait. I remember saying boss to be tenacious. I don't remember if I looked potency. Okay, tenacity. I got confused for a second. <laughs> so your bounty hunters are looking very well modded. Um, I'll just go squad by squad, make it a little bit easier. On my brain. Vader, you just want fast-ish and very potent. He's looking good there. Uh, try to get a crit damage triangle on him. So if you can get a crit damage here and then slice it, it'll be like plus like 36 or something percent crit damage. Um, so then once he crits, he's deleting everyone. You probably don't need to worry about it too much at this point because a Relic 4 Vader at Division 5 is soloing everything. <laughs> Alright, sorry, you sent me another message. You said awesome because I struggle with that. TBH, I'm a hyperdrive account, by the way. I'm going to say awesome. I rec I'm s I don't know why. I'm talking. Rec I said I'm recommended a full GAC lineup. Now I'm talking about mods. All right. Um, so yeah, Vader, crit damage, potency, basically. Thrawn, you just want him, like, legendarily fast, yeah. And some decent tenacity. Okay, so this is a good, a well-modded Thrawn. EP, his potency should be over 90. Over 100 would be even better. <laughs> I like that. And some good protection. Okay, so this is a, so your Empire is looking very well-modded, similarly to your Bounty Hunters. First Order. Um, these guys are fantastic. Uh, basically just health and protection, yeah. Um, maybe, well, let me just go through individual mods. It's hard with the first order because you want them to be health and protection, but you also want them to have tenacity because their only downfall is basically like Ray or Jedi Knight Anakin's, their healing immunities or like bounty hunters, for example. If they get the healing immunities that prevent them from having their ability to like regain when they get buffs and stuff. Um... So having high-ish tenacity is helpful, but it's hard because you need, like, good tenacity, like, secondaries, and sometimes it's just not the best, like, draw. So you probably want, you want a little bit higher tenacity in a perfect world just to, like, prevent them from getting those healing immunities placed upon them, which is their only downfall. But like your other teams that I'm talking about mods, it's a slow grind for you because mods are RNG-based because it's just the longer you play the more mods you end up getting. Uh, but you're in a good spot right now, so your opponents shouldn't really have a way to beat this. I like this crit damage, by the way. I like Kylo Ren. 
Um, and then he should just be like a absolute. Yeah, I like this. He just should just have some health and some crit damage. Okay. So basically, just a little bit more tenacious, if at all possible. Uh, these guys, yeah, just health. They're just fat stacks of health and tenacity. He's looking solid. This guy should just be like a unit. Uh, I would try to get a little bit more crit damage so he can just start deleting people. And then maybe even a little bit higher potency. It, it would be the reverse of what I talked about for the first order. Um, you want him to be able to successfully apply that buff immunity and uh, healing immunity. So slightly higher uh, crit damage if possible and a little bit more potency just in case. Um, Ahsoka's looking solid with the 36% and some good health. If you ever decide to use Padme for offense instead of defense, you want to remod to make them slower or to make the Padme slower rather. So they can stay fine, but if Padme's fast, which she she's pretty fast, you want you only want to use a Padme on offense against like a Darth Revan team if the Padme goes after um everyone basically. Um oftentimes people have really fast Padmes for defense. But then when they switch it to offense and they go against a Darth Revan, they go too fast before the HK. And then the middle ability is wasted and then the Malik kills someone and then it's it's just all screwy. So for right now, having a fast Padme is solid with high health as you have for defense. If you ever decide to switch it up and say you start facing a bunch of Darth Revans and you're like, hey, I'll just switch my Padme over to offense because I don't want to use like my CLS against Darth Revan, for example. Um, just drop the speed a little bit on Padme so she goes after the average HK. Um, sorry, you sent me another message on Discord. Let me quickly reply to that. Alright. Um, R2-D2. Yeah, just like health, potency, pretty much. Yeah, r 2 d is looking solid. Um, Yoda should just be like offense. Yes, good, Anakin, good. Yeah, it's just fat damage. Yeah, all right. I'm liking that. Cup should be modded for pure speed. He should be at 500 speed. 100 speed solid, but if you can get him up to 500 speed, I'd be uh, <laughs> that'd be a little bit better. All right, what's, what's our time looking at? We're at 27 minutes. All right, we got time. I'm so sorry if you heard that. I just burped on accident. <laughs> sorry about that. Um. Geos basically since they share health and protection, like just health protection. Yeah. If they're not relic to the mods don't matter too much. Jedi, uh both Revens, once you get Darth Revan, both Revens should be at like three hundred speed. Yeah, three ten, you're looking good here. Some crit damage, some health. Alright, Revan's looking saucy. Oh, uh, we've talked about these guys. Jolie should just be an absolute unit. There you go, good stuff. Um, decently fast. Okay, so yeah, Jolie's looking solid. Basil again should just be like health protection. Yeah, she's looking fine. All right, so that's good. Let's drop down. Uh, rebels. Basically, just speed crit damage. Yes, good. I like this. This is a fantastic commander, Luke Skywalker. I think you just got off Discord right now. Yeah, you're offline. I was going to message you saying, good CLS, but I think you went to bed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love this CLS modding. It's a plus 30. It's a 42. Yes. It's a plus 16. Okay. Yeah, these are fantastic mods on CLS. Should be similar on Chewbacca. Should be... Uh, it's a little slow, but I like the crit damage. Um, mods are hard to come by. If you can bump them up in speed a little bit, um, that would be nice. But I like the high crit damage. Also, slightly slow, but massive crit damage. Okay, I this is what I like. 70%. If you can get above the 222, which is my magic number, anything above the 222.2 um, is like, fan, like fantastic. This is a phenomenally modded CLS squad. Phenomenal. Like, I'm actually very impressed. I wish my CLS was that well-modded. 
Uh, that's kind of all you had, right? It's not Rogue One. <laughs> I'm starting to work on Chirrut and Bays for my uh, Rebel Fighters to put them under Mon Mothma. It's a little pet project of mine um, since she's fairly viable at low stars. Um, did I miss anything? Let's just do a quick recap. All right. Uh, I think I covered most of what I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, you just sent me another message. Let me reply to that before I do my closing remarks. All right, so I love the roster. Um, hopefully you implement the GAC teams I talked about to be like otherworldly efficient and the strong defensive uh, First Order plus Padme team uh, with Geos and like Ewoks or whatever and then garbage on the back wall. Um, so let me just quickly hop over to Fleet. I would try to start working like i think the event actually is up today for home one um if you can start to progress that up just make it viable because even when you get the negotiator like i have a negotiator right now i throw it on defense with like random galactic republic ships i still use home one on gac offense um because home one just like i get 66 67 banners with home one it's just something you can't really do with anything else because of the, all the recovery all of the crazy offense so I would try to get that home one up and run that fleet I talked about at the beginning of the video uh, obviously once you get negotiator you give me first place in fleets every day get those 400 crystals it'll be good good living <laughs> you sent me a message just to say my B I was driving home from CVS had to get a Google Play card <laughs> All right, so um, thank you so much uh, for the donation. It means a ton. Um, the support from you and all the other patrons, like, let's see which ones are on. Darth Putsi is uh, messaging you right now. Uh, James is on. I love James. All the patrons. Let me just shout out the patrons right now. Darth Putsi, you, James, Chris, I love Chris, Halo, Jacko, Snacko, Mac, Maca, Martian, Morag, Nullboy, yeah, Padini, Quantum. Dude, the boys, those are just the boys that are online right now. And then there's a bunch that don't join Discord for some reason. Shout out to all the patrons who don't join Discord. You guys, I'm trying to get you over there, <laughs> but you guys refuse to switch over. <laughs> all right, man, uh, thanks so much for the donation. It means a ton. Uh, as always, if you need anything else, uh, I'll make any same-day videos for you. So if you think I missed something, let me know. I'll make a video for you. If you want a guide on something, I'll make a video for me for you. Or if you just want to chat, whatever. Uh, I always reply to all my patrons whenever they hit me up. Um, but thank you, and I'll see you later.